and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. We have just picked up a load of, um, <laughs> we just picked up a load of these uh, forklifts and we're off to Luxembourg. So uh, let's get cracking. It's a bus. Let's get past this bus, can we? Do we have enough oomph? Well, we're coming off at the next junction anyway. There's no point. We'd only have to dive back in straight in front of him anyway and then slam our brakes on and we'd really annoy him. Oh, he's not going that way anyway. Lovely. Lovely. Right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Now see, look, this is where the AI goes a bit weird. When you come down here, for some reason they give way to you. If you're coming the other way, traffic will just bomb down off the motorway and just turn. And just go straight in front of you. It's like, that's not how giving way works. What's going on? It is really, really strange and messed up. So, uh, yeah, that's... Because, you know, you could be going the other way from where those cars were coming from. Going along, and someone just zips straight out of the side road in front of you. And somehow it'd be your problem. So, are these barriers going to close now? I don't know what the single flashing light means. Well, they're not flashing red, so we should be alright. <laughs> Careful. Careful. <laughs> I don't know what the flashing white light means. If you know what that, those lights mean, let me know in the comments. That's what they're there for. Although, do check to see whether somebody else has posted the answer first. There's nothing worse than getting three or four different people posting exactly the same thing. If someone's posted it, just reply to their comment and go, Yeah, that's right. Why is the speed limit 60 along here? I know it's a junction, but still. Uh, but at least we get some nice scenery along here. Okay, well, fields. And a wind farm. Nice. How is the speed limit still 60? Jeez. Well, I don't care. I don't care. Speed limit shouldn't be 60. It's ridiculously slow. It's not even 40 miles an hour. I can navigate this corner perfectly well. It's 73, thank you very much. Right. There we go. That's better. Why hasn't the speed limit increased? We just passed another speed limit sign. Why is it 60 along here? This is so frustrating. I'm just going to stick at 83. <laughs> Activate cruise control at this speed instead. Uh, got a little rest area coming up. Yeah, we're fine for fuel. Fine for sleep. Don't need to do that just yet. And Luxembourg. Over the border. As you can see, the speed limit is now 75 because we've crossed into somebody else's jurisdiction. That is actually a fairly reasonable speed, so we're going to respect that one. There was no centre line. Why is there no centre line? <laughs> Look at these skid marks. Somebody had a bit of a bit of an accident around this corner. They've gone for quite a long way. They must have had jammed on brakes or something. Over the bridge. Slow down a bit for this corner. Yeah, this corner is fairly tight. Don't mind that. Hello, truck with cars. <laughs> I 
Now, I'm in a fairly good position in this game, as you've probably guessed. I do have a fair amount of cash. I'm level 30, so I've unlocked an awful lot of the uh, the truck parts, particularly the, <clears throat> uh, the nice engine. You know, the nice powerful engine, that does help. Um, but I still have quite a long way to go. I've got pretty much every skill point filled now. You know, so my skill tree is full. But there's still a way to go. You know, I, I do believe that. Um, see, that's the trouble with simulator games. There's no sort of end point. There's no goal. It just seems to be, well, these are the things you can do. You know, here's some equipment, some stuff you can buy. Uh, just go out there and make some money. That seems to be the only goal. I mean, uh, there's certainly achievements in this game. Thanks to Steam. Well, yeah, we are in a town now. There we go. 50 kilometers an hour. I need that lane, mate. Thank you. Too busy worrying about my speed to uh, notice the dude coming up behind me. And you probably heard that. That's my uh, laptop being noisy. So let's just mute that. Should have done that before I started recording, but there we go. And another set of red lights. Lovely. Just like in a real city. See, this is why you get traffic jams. This is why you get traffic jams. This is why you get air pollution. This is why cars don't get great mileage. Because it's always stop start. It's the junctions. It's the. There's all the roundabouts and the, the traffic lights. They all just slow you down. And there we go. Synchronizing with world of trucks. Job done. See, I've only done five for world of trucks. See, there's not that much difference. There really isn't that much difference uh, between uh, normal jobs and world of trucks jobs. It's just that your progress in the world of trucks jobs is... Uh, it's uploaded to the World of Trucks website uh, for other people to... Well, other people don't really take all, all that much interest, really. <laughs> it's just a way of tracking your progress. So we go to Drive. We're in Luxembourg. We have been here before. As you can see from the map, I have been here before. <clears throat> So I, I've, I've approached it from this direction before as well. That's interesting. So I come down here. Oh, I think I know what happened. Because that's a repair place. Because probably what happened is I had to... I was probably driving around here. And I must have been going up there. So I was probably planning on going up here and then across. But I must have pranged my my truck. When you call assistance, it takes you to the nearest um, repair place, which of course is there. So I would have spawned there and then just driven out. So while I've been here, while I've discovered this place, I haven't actually explored it properly. So let's do that now. Uh, before time runs out on us once again. So look that way. Anything coming? Oh, well, there is now. Uh, some stuff over there, I'm sure. Beyond my my plethora of wind of uh, <laughs> mirrors, <laughs> so many mirrors I can't see behind them. I can see behind me, but I can't see behind the bloody mirrors. It's around here. Then let's go down here to this construction site.
Oh dear, I am tired. So that's right, just swing it round. There we go, nothing coming there. There's of course still flipping red lights. All the time. Just like a real city, of course. If they just timed them, we'll just reduce the number of them. You don't need so many junctions in a city. You really don't. Of course, here's another little bus terminal. It's pretty much exactly the same as the others. Even the litter's in the same place. <laughs> ah, that's prefabricated construction for you. So, nothing there. Hopefully, nothing that way. <laughs> and there we go. Back on the road. It's nipped down here. So, we've done that cross. We've done that road to the right already. Don't need to do that again. And a red light. Lovely. It's nine in the evening. There's not that much traffic. We shouldn't have to stop. So yes, that's the repair place and the Volvo showroom. If you want to buy a Volvo, that is. So this way. Recruitment agency. Boop, there we go, got that. It is kind of annoying that you've actually got to drive into these places in order to actually mark them as yellow rather than just drive past. Okay, so we've got a bit of a choice now. Um, so, how do we do this? Um, I'd say go straight across here then come along here, do the hotel, go straight across uh, go straight across here, up here, through the chemical plant, out again, up here, get the garage and buy it while we're here, then nip out here, down there, and then back in this way. That should get everything uh, fairly quickly. That should get everything fairly quickly. So, let's go. Can't really see out that way, don't care. <laughs> I know I've only just repaired my truck, but still. So we need this lane here. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. There we are. Turn left at these lights. Move forward a bit. There we are. Boop. And waiting for the lights again. Well, that's not very well modelled, is it? <laughs> okay, here we are. Going a bit fast. Never mind. Oh, look at that bridge. And those buildings over there. I assume those buildings and that bridge actually exist in the real Luxembourg. Because they do make an effort to actually put in proper landmarks. But I've never been, so I don't know. Well, slag fluttering in the wind there. There we go. Now, I do like those flags because they're not just static objects. They could easily have just been static objects. Or they could have just had a speed dependent animation on them. That would have been easy to do. But no, it's actually properly physically modelled flags. Do to do, there we are. Didn't need to come all the way in really, but kinda needed to turn around. It's actually quite a quite a steep 
lip here, man. Anyway, now to come in. So let's go! Hello, Roundabout. Nice to see you again. Now, of course, we are at that time of the evening when there's very little traffic about, thankfully. Speed in again. Come on. Do do do. So we go down here. Turn here. Get that little bit there. So yes, this is one of the things that just having a map that um, records where you've been really doesn't help. If you're if you're a completionist or something like that, it really doesn't help having a map which uh, shows you where you've been and where you haven't. Because if that map was just normal, I wouldn't be doing this. I wouldn't be driving around trying to reveal it the market all in gold nope I wouldn't care but if I didn't do this having little bits everywhere that I hadn't explored would uh, annoy me it would annoy me somewhat so let's go over here and then buy this. Boop. Available for sale. Do I really want to buy it? Yes, I do. And cue the cutscene. Why they've got to do this every time, I have no idea. Still got my indicator on. <laughs> Yes, we've seen the back of this thing. I mean, it's fine the first couple of times. You buy a garage, you think, oh yes, this is, this is great. This is, um, it's a milestone in my company. Not anymore, it's just, I'm just buying it because I'm here. I don't even need it. Well, what else am I going to spend two and a half million pounds on? I don't know. Do you know? Anyway, so it's coming to the evening. Uh, my tiredness meter is about half full. Or half empty, depending. So as you can see here, traffic is just bombing down the side from up that way. And these poor people here have to give way and cause a massive traffic jam. Ah, oh, fantastic. Come on, out of the way. See, the slip road should be giving way to traffic on this main road. So, activate the wipers. That one there. Oh, it's rain. The sound of rain is really, really good, actually. So yes, what we'll do is we'll just finish off this little road over here, then we'll stop at the hotel and have a sleep. And that'll be the end of the episode anyway. <laughs> do do do, there we are. And hopefully then it'll be morning. Uh, shortly after dawn, hopefully. And uh, this rain should have gone away. Tick tock, tick tock. The rain is very good in this game, though. Oh, wow. Some lightning, too. <laughs> we got a full blown storm in here now. And here we are, almost there. That's Luxembourg at least, uh, completely explored. Hello, hotel. 
Nice to see you again. I'll park over here and I'll be annoying by not reversing in. Here we go. Wipers off. Lights off. Parking brake. Engine off. And sleep. There we go. Beautiful. Stop raining. The sun's out. And it's quarter to seven in the morning. We're ready for another day's work. And at that, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. It does help. Um, it does help a lot. Um, if you have any other games that you'd like to see me play, or any mods, um, certainly on the Steam Workshop that you want me to uh, investigate, then please let me know. Please let me know. It's one of the main uh, ways that I find stuff, is in comments to various videos. So, yeah, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.